Yellowstone volcano USGS scientist recorded caldera with a lot of movement. A USGS scientist explained how the Yellowstone caldera rose up by 12 centimeters during a seven-year period during a lecture. The Yellowstone caldera is a supervolcano located in the US that last erupted 70,000 years ago. It has been labeled a supervolcano due to its potential to inflict devastation on a global level. There has not been an eruption of this nature in more than 630,000 years but scientists still believe it poses a threat a leading scientist in charge of monitoring Yellowstone, revealed during a lecture at Menlo Park, California. How the USGS recorded an apprise in the ground over a seven-year period, he said in 2014. We have a technique that's called INSA, it's another satellite-based technique like GPS, and it produced this particular image and it's called an interferogram. INSA is a radar technique, you have radar up in space and it's taking an image of the land surface below, scanning the surface. In this case 1996 to 2003 and you can look at how the ground surface changed in elevation relative to that satellite. Dr. Lowenstein then showed a map, where a number of rings appeared to get closer near the caldera. What you get here is like a contour map. The yellow ring represents places that moved up a similar amount towards the satellite. But when the rings are really close together, that means there was a lot of movement. Here, we can see from 1996 to 2003. There was about 12 centimeters of uplift in that period over a 5 mile radius. This gives us an understanding of what is really happening, where the ground is moving and where it is coming up. Dr. Lowenstein previously revealed why it is imperative to keep an eye on Yellowstone. He said during the same lecture, Yellowstone has a lot going on in it. It is a very active place. We have a volcano observatory there partly because we feel we need to keep a close eye on it because it does have this big hazard that's a possibility there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.